What's up? It's your boy Bizzle. It's Bizzle, baby. <laughs> and I'm coming to you live on set in my room. I mean, well, you can't see the rest of my room because it's kind of dirty and whatever, but in any case, I hope all is well with each and every one of you. I'm just doing a quick video because I haven't done a video in so long because my camera's broken, so now I'm using my phone. But anyway, I won't complain. It's great. Today is Friday. Oh, God, what's today? Friday, September 9th, 2011. It's about 1.35, and I'm just waking up. Well, kind of, sort of, you know, in and out of sleep, but I'm up now. But in any case, I hope all is well with each and every one of you. I love you. Um, just wanted to, you know, do a quick video, I guess, basically. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. I hadn't thought about anything. Just wanted to do a video. Woke up and said, oh, let's do a video. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm just acting up. Um, I'm really excited about Serena Williams, though. Um, everybody that knows me knows I'm a big tennis fan, and Serena Williams has returned to the U.S. Open, you know, has returned to, uh, you know, competitive tennis this year, and I'm excited because, you know, she and her sister Venus, of course, have put America pretty much on the map, and... Um, pretty much, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't say America on the map. We've always been on the map, but has put the focus on women's tennis in America, you know, a lot better. Now we have some young up-and-coming tennis stars, you know, Arena Falcone, Sloane Stevens, Madison Keys, Christina McHale, who've all done well at the Open um, this year, of course, but to see Serena in action, like, kicking butt and taking names, I'm just really excited about her. I'm a big Serena and Venus fan. Sadly, Venus had to pull out because of an um, illness. She has a Shrogen's disease. I think I may have mispronounced it, but... Um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping for her recovery because it'll be great to see her, you know, climb back up in the rankings, of course. Um, in any event, I'm just excited about the U.S. Open. I wish I was there, but yeah. But in any case, um, Serena do well. She will do well. I feel like she's going to win. She's in the semifinals now. She's going to face, um, who is she going to face uh, tomorrow? She's facing the girl that beat Panetta Kerber. Is she playing Kerb or is she playing Stoser? She's playing one of the people. And, and the remaining ladies, you know, they're probably good tennis players, but none of them have the consistency of a rivalry between Serena Williams anyway. I mean, Stoser beat her at the French Open back in 2010, if I remember correctly. But um, I don't think she's beat her too many times since, if any more since then or before then. But in any case, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so I see Serena, you know, winning. Yay, Serena, go Serena. You know, we still got some American men in the finals. Uh, I mean, in the finals, in the quarters or the semis, whatever they're playing now. Andy Roddick is still out there. John Isner, you know, big ups to them, of course. So hopefully by the time, you know, this video really widely circulates, one of them will have won the Open, even though they're not playing till Monday. But okay, in any case, um, I'm over it. Um, what else? Oh, Facebook. Some of y'all take Facebook way too seriously. Like, I don't... <laughs> Some of y'all get bold. Like, I, I think they call them beer muscles, you know. People get bold on Facebook. You know, they say stuff they wouldn't ever really say to your face. But as soon as they get on Facebook, I can't stand you and I hate when people do dot, dot, dot. And I hate this situation in my life because of dot, dot, dot. But you see me in the mall or you see me... <laughs> It, you know, whatever venue I'm singing in or, or performing in or wherever, and you don't say anything, but hi, like, that's real tacky. Be grown about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know me. I keep it 100, keep it real, whatever all the, you know, the cool colloquialisms are now, but, you know, I'm very straightforward. I'm very direct. You know, if I have a problem with you, you're the first person to know. Ask anybody. If I can't, you know, um, solve it on Facebook, if I send you a message on Facebook, if I see you in public, I will speak to you. And I only say that because, you know, I don't have a lot of people's numbers. I don't have a lot of people's um, email addresses or anything. But I contact people directly when I have a problem with them. And a lot of people don't do that. On Facebook, you see all these statuses, these omniscient statuses about people. And it's just like, if you have something to say, say it directly to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's kind of backwards. Um, me personally, like, I've done that. I've put statuses out, and they're basically general statements. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever directly reference people in my statuses, because a lot of times when I make statuses, either A, they're about a group of people, or B, I'm saying something that someone else is scared to say out loud. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to think I'm the voice of the people sometimes, but <laughs> sometimes that's exactly what it is. But in any case, um, I just, but I, but everybody that knows me know I directly go to the person. I would hope a lot of people do that. Also, um, I have opinions. I do. 
And if you don't agree with my opinion, we can definitely debate on Facebook. I don't have a problem with that. But after we debate and we still, maybe we might still have our own opinions and neither one of us has influenced the opinion of the other, we can keep it cool. I'm cool with anybody I've ever debated with. You know what I'm saying? I don't argue. I might reference my point. I might make your argument less clear. You might make my argument less clear, but I don't lose any respect for you, which means I can still communicate with you. I can still talk to you. I have no problems with you. A lot of people don't understand that. They think because you attack attack their statuses or disagree with their opinion, you're a bad person and grow up. People have opinions. People might be wrong in their opinion. People might be wrong and right in their opinion, but it's an opinion. There's no fact to an opinion unless you actually quote facts and things like that. But some people just, ugh, you just, you just wonder like, wow, like, are you really that jaded? Like who peed in your cereal this morning? Like really? Like, <laughs> like who like busted on your face? Like what happened? I mean, some people like that, but that's another story entirely. You know what I'm saying? Who stole your clothes? Somebody made you mad to where you feel like you can't ever talk to somebody that disagrees with your opinion. And I think that's ridiculous. People have opinions. Let them have their opinions. Now, if they're attacking your character, your integrity, your personality, your demeanor, your finances, your family, your anything directly connected to you, I can understand that. But an opinion, their opinion... Nine times out of ten is baseless, but if they have an argumentative opinion, then I can understand, but grow up. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that because, you know, people are doing too much. I mean, I have an opinion about something and people just, I don't understand your opinion, so I hate you. Like, what? Like, okay, if you don't understand my reasoning for something, that's fine. I'm not going to get mad, you know what I'm saying? But some people just get mad. You know, I had a conversation the other day with somebody who <laughs> didn't agree with something I said, and they hung up on me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, and that's fine. I'm not going to be mad. It's like you have an opinion, I have an opinion. People are made to have differences of opinion. I'm going to leave it right there before I get real rude. But anyway, I hope all is well with each and every one of you. <sighs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm happy to be off work, even though I work tomorrow and all weekend and all that stuff. But anyway, the joys of retail. Um... I'm going back into the studio, doing some overdubs, doing some backgrounds. I'm going to be doing a couple of events soon, so I'm trying to get vocally ready. And I clearly, <coughs> me, 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 I'm not there. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll just go leave it like it is. Shout out to the Hit Factory in Chicago. I love y'all. Thanks for that email. I appreciate it. Um, that was a real random, but that's how I feel. Shout out to the subway that's inside the Shell Station on Merrill Road down here right before it gets to Fort Caroline because they serve breakfast all day. That $3 combo is the business. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> shout out to them for real, for loving that. I love that. And shout out to Popeyes for that two forty nine dollars two-piece again. Yeah! <laughs> I bought two of them yesterday. I'm fat. <laughs> I know. I ain't got no shame. But um, in case I hope... Oh, oh. I got to give a, give a bad boy smack, a bad boy smack, for real, to the Popeyes down on University South past uh, Beach Boulevard. They gave me some raw biscuits. And then when I took it back, they was like, oh, these biscuits are fine. No, they're white. Biscuits are not meant to be white, they're, especially if they're buttery biscuits. You sure that's butter and not margarine? I mean, or shortening or Crisco? Get it together. <laughs> any case, I'm just mouthing off anyway. Oh, a bad boy smack to just, um, I'm not going to say this person's name, but someone I ran into at the store who just decided to act as if they didn't know who I was. Bad boy smack. I ain't going to be rude, but you're probably going to watch this video. You know I'm talking about you, but you get a bad boy smack for that. Woo! But, uh, and for those of y'all that don't know, of course, a lot of y'all don't, but I'm from Chicago, of course, and a bad boy smack is just, you know, just basically... Um, what it is, a bad boy smack. You deserve it for being shady or punkish or, you know, being uh, rude. or That's just our way of getting at you without being violent and going to jail. But anyway, anyway, just a bad boy smack. Woo! 
you know, I, I can't really, I haven't done that in years, but I think I'll bring back, bring that back. I love it. But anyway, I love you all. Shouts out to all my friends and all my peoples and all my Facebook peoples and all my YouTube peoples that are watching this video. I love you. I don't do these videos for hits. I don't do these videos for comments. I don't do these videos for any type of direct appreciation. I only do it because people request me to do it. So that's what I do. So if you think you want me to give my opinion on something, if you think you want me to sing something, if you want me to do anything, I'm going to keep doing these videos. So I don't care if I get one view. I don't care if I get one like on Facebook, one anything. I don't care because I'm not doing it for fame or notoriety. I'm doing it because people request it. So I love you all. And I love those of you that request me and love my opinion and value me for who I am versus what I can do. So with that said, 2012 is almost here. Make the last of 2011 count. We're in September. What are you going to do for the rest of the year? I'm out. Holla at your boy. Deuces.